Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to talk about an SBC that's going to be coming up here the next week or so in FIFA Ultimate Team. That is the Premier League Player of the Month SBC. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang won last month. His SBC only has five days remaining, as you can see here. I'm recording this on Sunday, putting it out for you guys. His SBC is going to be going away on Friday of this next week. So that means a perfect opportunity for Jamie Vardy's uh, or whoever is going to win this month's player Premier League Player of the Month SBC to come in. We need to talk about some possible investments uh, for that. If you can't see behind my camera, it is Henderson. You don't need to worry about him. He's not going to win. Basically, this week's Premier League, or this month's Premier League Player of the Month, it's basically coming down between Vardy and Vardy. Like literally, Vardy is the front runner between all these players. If you look at all their statistics, I don't even know if anybody else that EA nominated has over two goals, and Vardy has four goals uh, to his name during the month. Of course, three of those goals coming from the 9-0 win over Southampton. Uh, so I think Vardy is basically a shoe in for this month's player of the month. He's going to get a lot of votes. He is an English striker. I mean, from the FIFA community, if we look at all of these cards they have, um, if we go back to the players, if we look at all of these cards, um, Gundogan might be a good one. Uh, Willian could be a cool card with a big upgrade. But since the fan vote is only like 10 or 20% of the actual vote for uh, Premier League player of the month, I think Vardy is going to get in because, again, he has the most amount of goals, the highest amount of statistics in the places that matter to win Premier League Player of the Month. So I think Vardy is your clear-cut winner already. That's honestly the thing that we know already about that. So thinking of ways that we can invest for this SBC. First, all, or first of all, I think this SBC, EA has a big opportunity here to make this a very well-priced SBC and make people want to do the SBC. People didn't want to do the Aubameyang SBC uh, because you're basically were barely getting an upgrade over his gold card and it was costing you, it costed about when the SBC came out, 350,000 coins. Right now it costs about 400k and his gold card was I think 300k at the time or something like that. So it was just about like 75 50 to 75k more than what his gold card had costed um, at that current time. And it was like plus one upgrades and that's it. EA has a chance to give us a very good player of the month SBC if they give us a very uh, good rating and a good boost on Jamie Vardy. And I honestly think that they should, uh, especially because of the route that they had of Southampton. I think that Vardy deserves a pretty beast card. And he has an opportunity to be a pretty special card with 88 pace already, 81 shot, 75 physical, 75 dribbling. If they give him 90 to 91 pace with like 84, 85 shooting, 70 passing, 80 dribbling, maybe 80 physical as well. If they give him like a big boost, like we're talking plus four, plus five boost, he's going to have almost 90 finishing. His agility and balance will be close to 80. His stamina will be over 80. Uh, aggression will be 90 probably. Uh, and his, his dribbling will be much improved as well. He's just going to be a fast, straight line running English Premier League striker. So basically, EA has an opportunity here to make, give us a very good value and um, a good value SBC that a lot of people are going to want to do. I think about PK. The PK SBC that is still out at this time of this video is the SBC that we have seen this year has been the most in demand. The most people have done this SBC out of any other SBC for a player in this game uh, in my opinion if we get another sbc like this with a very high upgrade a very big upgrade to a card like vardy you're going to see a lot of people do that card because if you think about strikers in the premier league right now you kind of have a big price discrepancy between that upper echelon the upper tier of premier league strikers and kind of like the lower middle tier so you have rashford who has maintained a high price because he kind of fits into that middle tier somewhere around like 40 50 000 coins at the moment i believe yeah, so he's right around 50,000 coins to this Rashford card. He does have um, the five-star skills. He also has a three-star weak foot. He's English, he's fast, and he can finish. That is the that is why people use Rashford in this game. He's Manchester United as well. Um, but above that, above Rashford, if you think of the next step up, if you're going to upgrade your striker in your Premier League team, it's probably going to be Aguero or Aubameyang. If you go a step up from there, I mean, if you could go to Firmino, but he's more of a cam, you could go to Sun, but he's really expensive. So you have Aguero, you have Aubameyang, you have Kane, who doesn't, it's not really that fast. 
So most people would probably go to like an Aubameyang type card, uh, or maybe maybe they play like a, a Mane at striker or a Salad striker, but a pure striker in the Prem, you have Aguero and you have uh, Aubameyang that are above that kind of tier of strikers in the Prem. So there's just not a big, and those guys, like look, Aguero is right down here, like you think he's, is he 200K? Aguero sent like 300 or 200 and something thousand coins. Which is a pretty big difference. Yeah, so Aguero's like 270k, which is where I thought he was. 270, 280k, and you have Rashford at 40k. That's like the big difference that we have between Premier League strikers at the moment. So if we throw Vardy in there, if you give him 100k SBC and you give him a very, very good card, I think a lot of people would go out and do that SBC. So how do we plan for this SBC? That's what you guys want to know. How can we plan for it? What investments can we make? Uh, to possibly make some coins in this SBC. First things first, um, thinking of a price range of probably around 100K for this SBC, I would think that informs, if they do like a two or three squad variation, uh, I think that an inform requirement would be very, very feasible. Inform Chilwell and inform IOS Perez are perfect, perfect informs that you could include on your investing list or your things to invest in um, for this player of the month because they're both 81 rated i believe oh ios perez is 82 rated excuse me they're both 82 rated not 81 they're both 82 rated they're both from leicester city and they both are informs in the premier league um, so i think these cards are going to be good investments you're going to want to get them sooner rather than later they're both right now at 11,000 coins you might be able to get them for a 10k snipe or on bid for around 10,000 coins basically discard value that's what i would recommend as my investment to you guys try to stick around the discard value for those those are good investments the lester informs any premier league inform at discard is probably decent as well but for these ios perez and the chillwell you're probably going to want to sell those in the hype because those are going to rise more in the hype than they would if the SBC actually comes out. Um, and the only reason that they would rise a bunch when the SBC would come out right away is if the SBC was amazing, a huge upgrade, and a ton of people went to do it. Um, which I think you're going to have a lot of people that would want to do it anyway if it's at 100k. But if they make it like really cheap and it requires an inform, then you might see those prices go up. Um, it just depends on what they price the SBC at and how big of a boost Jamie Vardy gets. But that's a good investment that you probably want to sell in the hype just to be safe and take your coins. I could see that going from right now at like 11K, maybe all the way up to like 14,000 coins. Nice little 3K uh, increase on those cards right there. Nothing too too huge, but you know it's a possibility. And if the SBC does come out, you have those cards for cheaper if you want to do that SBC. I don't think there's as much money to be made in that though as there is in maybe investing in some of these Premier League gold cards. We're going to go over here to Footbin and check out some of the cheapest Premier League gold cards. That's where you might see the most rise if the SBC is actually very, very good and you might be able to make the most return on your investment. I'm looking at 84s right here. An 84 rated squad right now at the moment does not cost a lot. You know, most of these cards are like 3 to 4K. I mean, an 84 rated squad is costing you somewhere around like 30 to 40,000 coins um, if you maybe throw in an 85 and some 83s, maybe even like 30K for an 84 rated squad. Since high rated golds are kind of low, uh, the SBC fodder golds are lower. Um, but if they throw in some Premier League gold requirements in there or Premier League player requirements into an 83, an 84, or an 85 rated squad uh, for a Vardy SBC, I'm a big fan of some of these guys, especially Ozil, uh, Mares, Gundawan. I would be a very big fan of, especially because he's already in the voting. So some people might think that he somehow has a chance to win player of the month. Um, and his card right now at 3.8K is pretty low for a card with that nationality and the links that he has for SBCs. He's going to be a great one that you could look at. Socrates as well would be a good one for chemistry. 4,500 coins. You see he was at 35, very, very low last week. Um, if you see this card under 4K, I'm all about that. But this might be more of a place where you can look for this. Uh, and the time to buy these kind of these gold cards, maybe 83s, 84s, and 85s from the Prem, might be after that PK SBC leaves the store because there's still a little bit of demand um, for the Chong SBC and for the PK SBC since both of those cards, I think, require 84 or 85 rated squads to complete them. So watch when these go away. Um, maybe you see a little bit of a downfall in the price of those golds, but you also would be inching closer and closer to the Premier League Player of the Month release date. So 
I would say for those cards, I would say you just wait because we're probably going to have some Champions League content this week. That means packs. That means uh, pack supply SBCs from EA, from UEFA marquee matchups, and maybe some other SBCs. So when everybody's focused on UCL, maybe you can slide in and make some investments on either some informs or some of these gold cards right there. One outside shot investment that could happen since they routed Southampton 9-0. Maybe you look into getting some of these Southampton cards, some of the cheapest Southampton cards you can get. Looks like the cheapest gold Southampton is Armstrong right now. Looks to be about like 700 coins. There's a Bednarek as well, an Oriel Romeu. If you find a guy, maybe Bertrand will be a decent one. 78 rated left back. Maybe try picking up a few Southampton guys. Um, maybe not, don't just focus on getting this uh, Armstrong, since he seems to be the cheapest at the moment. Maybe you focus on some of those guys and stock a couple in your club. Uh, that would be a very no-risk investment because I think they might throw something in that SBC, including a Southampton player, Southampton player requirement, uh, since they demolished Southampton 9-0 to zero in the month of October. That was the big game that they had in October, and that Vardy got three of his goals in that game. They went 2-1 and one on the month. There was only three games in the Premier League during the month of October. They played Liverpool and lost. They played Leicester, or they played Burnley and won. They played Southampton and won, obviously, 9-0. to zero. So those are kind of the things you could look for if you wanted to maybe throw in a Liverpool or a Burnley, some players in there that you can invest in as well. But, you know, EA has been keeping it pretty... They've been keeping it pretty chill with these SBCs. Obviously, with the uh, the Pierre Emerick bombing SBC, we had four different parts that kind of make up that SBC with an 85 rated squad, an 87 rated squad, um, another 87 rated squad with one Premier League player, and then Team of the Week player one, Arsenal player one. So, you know, they're making these SBCs so that it's not pinching a lot of requirements, like foot economists would say, a pinch point on the market. Um, so they're not really pinching a lot of of um, specific players. I mean, the inform Arsenal players. Arsenal pl players probably rose for this. Um, and then, obviously, you need some Premier League players as well if you have an Arsenal side. 65 chemistry is doable if you just threw a random Arsenal player in there. And then you did the rest with a different league and high rated. So it depends on the chemistry and how much, uh, how many Premier League players they do require. If they do that for Jamie Vardy, some people may think about uh, if they require his gold card. Um, that's a possibility as well. Uh, I haven't looked and seen if his gold card price is already up, but I imagine that his gold card doesn't cost too much at this stage of the game anyway. Looks like it costs somewhere around 4,000 coins. So if you wanted to add that as a little investment as well, that could be an investment that you look at uh, for Vardy Player of the Month. That would be something that would be very feasible, and I could see EA throwing that in. Um, but, it, you know, it is what it is. I don't know how you would say that. One player from England, one player from Leicester City, uh, and you, there are many players that fit that option if they were going to do that for an SBC. So they'd have to really get finicky with it, and that wouldn't really make sense if you're just turning in a 4,000-coin player for one SBC. So I don't really see that one as a requirement, but it is a possibility. Again, these are the guys for the Player of the Month this month. Vardy is definitely the front runner. I think it is going to be Vardy. Um, and I think there's, again, another opportunity here for EA to release a very, very good SBC. The Player of the Month SBC so far, they've been okay. Timu Puki was cool. Um, Aubameyang was okay, just not a very good upgrade. And it wasn't very timely for where we were at and early on in FIFA, spending a lot of coins on that SBC. But if you want to throw down some investments for Vardy, if you like investing in the low gold cards, you know, the cheaper range, or, you know, putting some money into Premier League Golds. If you like the SBC fodder investing, uh, this could be something that you do invest in. For the release date, I do think it is going to be on this coming Friday. This coming Friday is, is owning up to be a huge day for FIFA content um, with new icon swaps and with a lot of other stuff we'll talk about uh, in the coming days. But um, I think that Premier League Player of the Month could be on there as well. I haven't seen any dates online of an official release date at the recording of this video, so that could change a few things. But in my mind, I'm planning on this being on Friday. So that's kind of what I think about Player of the Month. I think it's going to be Vardy. I think there's a few good investments. I wouldn't go crazy with it just because, again, we're relying on EA to put out a good SBC. Uh, two, two really, really good SBCs in the course of like one week would be a lot, in my opinion, for EA and we'll just see what happens. But if you want to make some investments, I wanted to lay those out for you guys today. Help those out. Help you guys out uh, to maybe make some moves 
on the market. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.